everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie and I'm in a different setting. I'm in a new flat. Um, I'm sorry if it's really echoey, but I'm sat in our open plan kitchen living room and there are currently no curtains, no sofa, no soft furnishings. So um, yeah, it's a bit echoey. This is the most sort of dressed area of the room, which is why I'm filming here. Um, but yeah, we um, moved house, we bought our first flat together, um, me and Alex, and it's so exciting. I'm sure I'll tell you more about that as time goes on, because I'm definitely going to be doing some home sewing. I've already got some curtain-related projects that I need to make a start on, so yeah, look out for any home sewing videos if you find that interesting. But today I want to tell you about all the lovely Christmas presents that I got this year that were sewing-related. So. It's a bit beyond Christmas now, but Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you all had a lovely time over the festive period. Um, just a little disclaimer, I'm by no means making this video to try and show off, but I personally love watching what people got, watching videos about what people got for Christmas and their birthdays and all these things are sewing related. So I thought it might give you some inspiration for some bits and bobs you guys might like in the future. So to start off, I'll start with the smaller things and kind of work up. Prick sticks. So Father Christmas knows me very well and in my stocking this year I got a load of little um, Prick sticks and these I really needed. Oh, the camera is not focusing. There we go. Um, yeah, I needed more of these because I used them to stick my PDF patterns together. I think Prick sticks work really, really well. I started out by using tape, but actually I think Prick sticks are great because you can kind of, even once you've put the glue on and put the piece of paper on, if you've not lined it up quite right, you can just sort of push it and pull it a little bit even once it's stuck. So these will be very helpful for my PDF pattern sticking. I also got some new blades for my rotary cutter, which is brilliant because my current one is just starting to not cut smoothly and needs replacing, so this is really, really helpful. I think it's a little yellow packet, I'm pretty sure these are from Amazon, but I'll link everything down below, and there's two in here, so that would be great to have a backup one. The next thing that I got was a little, little box like this, and inside it, it, I'll find a little tin to kind of store these in more permanently. But it's pattern weights, although they're actually not pattern weights, they're actually sort of washers, that's what their original intended purpose is, and um, that's what they were made to be, is like washers, but they work so well as pattern weights. I first saw these in use at a class, sewing class at the Village Haberdashery at, in West Hampstead, and they were just brilliant because they're so thin that even when you've got them spread out all over your pattern, if say you want to use a ruler or a pattern master to mark something off or if you just if you've got a straight line you're cutting you can actually lay your ruler to use with your rotary cutter on top of these and because they're just so thin i think they're brilliant i've got a whole load here i think there's probably about 20 of them and yeah they will be really really useful for cutting out using my um, cutting mat and rotary cutter I have another aid for helping me with my pdf patterns and getting more quick and efficient at sticking them together it's a guillotine. I was so excited to get this. I think it's going to be so, so useful. It's just a little A4 sized one. Um, I wanted A4 rather than any bigger because although it means I obviously can't cut larger pieces of paper, I really do only need it for cutting out PDF patterns, which I print in A4 size anyway. So it's perfect, a good size to be able to store it sensibly. And yeah, it's orange and clear and looks very snazzy. It's got all the like lines for measuring on, so that's really useful. So I'll have nice, straightly trimmed PDF patterns, all lovely right angles. Yeah, I think this is gonna help me um, cut them out much quicker, which is great. I got two patterns um, for Christmas, which I was so pleased about, because these are two that I've been hankering after for ages and ages, but haven't got round to buying them for myself. And um, my mum did such a good job with these for me because they're actually PDF patterns, but she went on the computer and got some really nice photo paper and kind of printed out um, a photo of them to give me something to wrap up. So she put them like in an envelope and it was really nice. So the first one, I hope you'll be able to see this, is the Seamwork Astoria. And it's a, like a little cropped um, sweatshirt. And this is all the kind of thing I want to wear at the moment. In winter, I just want to wear jumpers and high-waisted jeans or high-waisted skirt and like thick tights. So I'm really looking forward to making some of these cropped sweatshirts. And then the second pattern I got was the, oh, I always forget who's by, is it named? I think it's named, but it's the Paola turtleneck, which looks like this. 
and it's the little turtle neck top and again I just live in turtle necks as you can see at this time of year so yeah really looking forward to making this one as well and then various members of my lovely family bought me fabric to make these patterns with so the first one is this gorgeous you can tell I'm like don't stray too far from the color palette I like can't you so it's this beautiful sort of petrol blue color in fact let me just double check exactly what it is I've got it here on my laptop so this is a rib knit and it's from myfabrics.co.uk and it's their stretch mottled rib knit in petrol and it's so nice and soft um, it's got stretch and I think it will make a really really nice ribbed Paola turtleneck. Again I'm not very um, varied in the colour combinations but I love this. This is again like a petrol blue kind of colour and it's a French terry. Um, so again it's myfabrics.co.uk French terry 26 in petrol. It's really nice and soft and I really like the French terry texture that you get on the inside. It's like, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but it's sort of textured on the inside. And this is what I want to make the seam like Astoria out of. And then last but not least, I've got this gorgeous Fonti Roma in this like mulberry color. And this was from Fabric Room, um, which is a place where you can only order a minimum of three meters. So I've got tons of it, but I really, really want to make the Nina Lee South Bank sweater. And again, I want to make it cropped and it's a nice big like chunky roll neck cropped sweatshirt and um, yeah so I'll make it in this nice mulberry colour. So there you have it, those are all my sewing related Christmas presents from this year. I feel very very spoiled, very lucky um, and very grateful to all my lovely friends and family for buying me such lovely presents. I think I've ended up with such a nice combination because I've got fabrics, patterns as well as some really really useful tools for sewing too. So yeah watch this space i'm hoping that sort of january february i'll be you know having some powder turtlenecks some astoria sweaters and a south bank sweater to show you so yeah watch this space um please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and i'd love to hear from you in the comments did you get any sewing related christmas presents this year do let me know and i'll see you next time bye